Mamta Banerjee attends the UPS Coordination Committee meeting that is suspense about the state of reforms that the UPA is keen to revive but that Mamta and her party have been stalling all this while. The meeting is being chaired by Sonia Gandhi and is likely to decide on some crucial bills including the FDI in aviation. Mamata Banerjee of course is against foreign airlines' domination of the aviation sector. Also very important FDI in multi-brand retail. Mamata Banerjee in the past has also had problems with this bill which he calls anti-trader and then of course there's the pension bill which has Mamata Banerjee very suspicious. Futures trading bill, this is Sharad Pawar's pet bill but Mamata has spiked all efforts to have it passed in the past. The insurance bill has also been put on the back burner as Mamta feels it is anti-poor. All these crucial bills will might just be decided, their fate might just be decided in the coordination committee meeting today. Karthike Sharma is tracking all the developments within. Karthike, is there a likelihood that Mamta may have just softened up a little bit and might consider some, if not all of these bills? Yes, we expect uh, Mamta Banerjee to soften up a little bit, uh, show some space, at least the uh, issue of uh, aviation FDI is uh, taken into account. Uh, but then uh, it depends, you see the meeting, uh, Mamta is very virtuous, so uh, you might you, you might feel that you've got a caveat or you might have got some space uh, in terms of politi political maneuvering from Mamta, but then, then uh, she might take a completely different stand. I think the only thing for the meeting today is that Mamta has agreed to be part of it. And mm. uh, she has chosen to talk on an issue on which she was so adamant that she was even refusing to listen to anyone. So yes, uh, there is a forward movement, but uh, in meeting, uh, the Congress will need to do a lot to convince Mamta. In fact, uh, with the, the Samajwadi Party and BSP getting increasingly cozy with the Congress, is it now incumbent on Mamta Banerjee to keep herself relevant in this alliance, Kartikeya? No, I don't think it's incumbent. Uh, on Mamta Banerjee, but yes, the, uh, a subtle pressure is there. Mamta knows that the Congress is not without option. So I, I would say that's the pressure. Uh, there is nothing more to it, but yes, uh, Mamta knows that she has to stick to this uh, uh, marriage for another one and a half years. And uh, she knows that uh, the more she can pressurize the government, the better deal she can uh, get for the West Bengal. So I think that's the only consideration. All right, for now, Karthike Sharma, thank you very much for joining us for that big story that we're breaking at this moment. The big meeting, the coordination committee meeting, which is going to be chaired by Sonia Gandhi, Mamta Banerjee, has softened up a bit and has at least agreed to attend this meeting. The last time around, she had not even attended, she had only sent along a representative. <laughs> All right, that's the news that we're breaking to you at this moment. Mamta Banerjee has agreed to attend the UPA's coordination committee meeting. Some crucial bills, their fate might be decided in this meeting, which is being chaired by UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi. Let's quickly take you through some of those bills whose uh, fate hangs in balance. First of all, of course, there's the FDI in aviation, something uh, which uh, Mamta Banerjee has been against. There's the FDI in multi-brand retail. Mamta Banerjee has called it anti-trader in the past. The pension bill, which also has Mamta suspicious. The futures trading bill, Sharad Pawar strongly pushed for it. Again, shot down by Mamta Banerjee. And then the insurance bill. This too has been scuttled by Mamta in the past when she called it anti-poor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.